Hey guys, today we're checking out the brand new camera pod from Hyperlite. That's next. Welcome to Backpenture Renegade, I'm Jeff. Today I'm excited to look at the brand new camera pod from Hyperlite. The other day I did receive a catalog in the mail from Hyperlite and I was excited to flip through the pages to see what's new and I came across this brand new camera pod setup and uh, I was excited to have this and get this on my Hyperlite pack as well. So this comes in either a regular size or a large size. I personally film on my uh, A6600 and so I thought the regular size would be a good fit for me. Uh, this is really good uh, pod here because it's made of Dyneema so it's rain resistant to an extent here. You also have these water resistant uh, zippers here so it clips onto your pack either in your front or on the side here. And so let's take a look at it in more detail and see if this is a good buy for you. All right, so Hyperlite calls this camera pod our answer to the quest for ultralight, durable, and waterproof camera carrying solutions. This is ideal for the backcountry if you want something that you can take your uh, personal camera with you while giving some protection, but in a nice minimalist design to really help you save weight. So this is for anyone looking for a lightweight, minimalistic camera bag that's good for all the outdoor activities. You can do uh, hiking, backpacking, even bird watching, and you want something that's gonna protect your bag while giving a little bit of padding and also protecting it in the rain. This is a great solution that we're gonna check out in a little bit more detail. Now this pack comes in either your regular size or your large size. The regular size is advertised as being able to fit a lot of the mirrorless cameras such as the A6600 series. Um, and that's what I got it for. So this one here is going to be the regular size. They do make a large size for the bigger uh, DSLR cameras and bigger mirrorless cameras such as the A7 series. Now this regular version only weighs 2.71 ounces or that's 77 grams. So extremely lightweight for the package that you're getting here and the durability that you're getting for your camera bag. The dimensions of this regular size one is seven inches by 5.5 inches by 3.75 inches. So a very good size for your mirrorless cameras in the A6000 series or similar sizes for that. Now I personally don't own the large version, but it's pretty much the same, just a little bit bigger here. Uh, the large version weighs 3.73 ounces or 106 grams. The dimensions are 9.5 inches by 6.5 inches by 4.25 inches. So it's gonna be a little bit bigger, a little heavier than the typical regular one. But if you do have the bigger DSLR cameras or even the mirrorless that are slightly bigger, the full frames, uh, the large version is probably gonna be the way to go there. So the main difference between the large and the regular version is pretty much the size. All the features are the same. So let's go over some of the features that we see in this camera pod. Both these packs are made of Dyneema composite fabric. So you actually have DCH150 on the outside that's interwoven with a DCF8. And so that creates a nice durable fabric that also has a nice rain resistant material on the outside being Dyneema. When you do buy the camera pod, you are obviously getting the pod, you're getting two carabiners and a little handle strap that you see here. This grab handle is nice and minimalistic and really produces uh, an easy way to carry your pack. If you're trying to just carry it separately, uh, it's a nice way to go for that. Both these packs do have sufficient padding on the inside as you can see here, and it's just enough to really feel confident in your, the protection for your camera while you're out in the wilderness. Now you also have these little loops here, creating like kind of like a daisy chain effect where you can mount it all different ways. So you have four loops on the bottom here, and then you have four loops on the upper part as well. In the back here, you actually have uh, those small carabiners that are on two of the loops. So you can attach this really any way you would like. And it's not only for the Hyperlite packs, because these have so many different uh, gear loops and possibilities to attachment, you can really attach it to any pack that you'd like. 
On the top of the lid, you also have a really nice Hyperlite uh, logo there on the top there. So uh, pretty nice to have that feature there. And I do like that the zippers have these little extra pull tabs uh, there that are blue and uh, really make it stand out and the carabiners uh, match that as well. Now there are various ways you can attach this pod to your pack. There are either the typical one in the front that you can attach it to your chest strap uh, there on the Hyperlite pack or you can attach it on your side near the hip belt. Now to attach it in the front in the chest area, you're gonna attach one of the carabiners to the straps of your shoulder strap there, one of those little loops there. You're also going to take the other carabiner and that's going to attach to the strap of your chest strap. And that way, whenever you buckle your chest strap, the pod is gonna be hanging nicely. Whenever you unbuckle it, the pod is with it as well. So it doesn't interfere if you have anything else on your left shoulder strap. This provides a really easy way to carry your camera and provide nice accessibility to take it out right when you need it. The only downside I found about carrying it in the front is when I'm actually scrambling and putting my hands down and kind of leaning over the pack does tilt a little bit forward and kind of rocks because it's only attached from those top carabiners in the front. But if you're standing up, walking upright, and typically uh, walking how you typically do without climbing and stuff, uh, this is gonna be a good feature there. Now my preferred way is to actually hold it on my right hip. And how you would do this is you take one of the carabiners and you would attach it to the bottom strap of your shoulder strap right above your hip belt. You would then take the other carabiner and you would attach that to the strap of your hip belt right in front of the pocket. That creates a nice area where this can hang down right by your hip and it also doesn't interfere with your hip pocket. You can still have access to the materials in there. So that's my preferred way to carry it and it's on my side so I can pull it out for quick accessibility as well whenever I need it. Both positions are very practical and, and you can easily access the camera when you need it. It's really just a matter of preference on which positions you prefer. Now let's take a look and see how my camera fits in here with various lenses that I typically carry when I'm out in the backcountry. All right, so the three lenses that I would typically take out there in the backcountry and put with this bag is gonna be the Sony 10 by 18 millimeter. It's an F4 lens. This is my lens that's on my camera body probably 80% of the time when I'm outside uh, doing my hikes. I also have the 16 millimeter from Sigma, and this is an F1.4, so this is more my low light situations, uh, and also my astrophotography lens if I wanted to do that at night. I also have a newly acquired zoom lens, which is a Tamron 17 by 70, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and just see how these lenses fit attached to the camera body with the new Hyperlite camera pod in the regular size. All right, so the first lens I typically take with me is gonna be the Sony 10 by 18. This is my wide angle lens for when I'm filming my uh, hikes. I film myself, I set up the pod, I walk away, come back and pick it up. And this is what it actually looks like um, on the camera. So it's nice and compact uh, setup that I like here. And uh, you can see that it fits really nicely in this bag. It's almost like it was made uh, for this kind of setup with this smaller compact lens here. And you can see you even have a, about a half an inch, maybe a whole inch of extra space there. And so if you had a strap attached to your camera, it can definitely uh, go ahead and fit on top here and still close the bag. So you can go ahead and do that. And uh, you can see how easily that lens setup with the camera body fits in the Hyperlite camera pod. The next one is the Sigma 16 f1.4 lens. So this is more for my uh, low light things and astrophotography. And as you can see, it's about the size of the camera pod bag. So it's gonna be a close fit. So let's go ahead and check that out. We can put it in there and the lens is at the bottom of the bag. And you can see you have enough room to shut the lid very nicely, but it's probably right at the limit that you're gonna want. You're probably not gonna want a lens that's bigger than the Sigma 16 uh, millimeter here. Now you can close the lid fully with this lens and uh, still be able to uh, have a nice protection with the Hyperlite camera pod. Let's check out the next lens. 
All right, so another lens that I have acquired is the Tamron 17 by 70 millimeter. It's an f2.8 and it's a zoom lens, as you can see, you can zoom in and zoom out. So uh, this is another uh, lens that's very practical to use out the back country if you wanna zoom in and get a few other things. And just for reference, you can see how it compares in size to the 10 by 18 and the Sigma 16 millimeter. So we were right about the top of the Sigma 16 millimeter with the bag. Um, and let's just take a look at how the Tamron fits. I don't believe it's gonna fit very well because it is a lot longer lens. Typically, this is a longer lens than you'll have on an APS-C type camera here. So just to put it in and we can see the lens is already hitting the bottom here and you can see just about how much of the camera body is still sticking out. Now you can always remove uh, this little lens cover here and uh, that way it can give you a little bit more room. But as you can see, um, you're not going to close this very easily. I could also take off my little, uh, little mount here that goes to the tripod, my quick release there. That might give it a little bit more room, but as you can see, that's not gonna work. If you wanna take a lens that's gonna be bigger, uh, like this Tamron with your APS-C camera um, in the A6000 series, I'd actually recommend getting the large pack. So um, just a reference of what kind of lenses fit on there. All right, so those were the camera setups that I typically would use for my lens. I hope you found that helpful. If you use longer zoom lenses, you may wanna go with the large uh, camera pod. And I'm not sure how that would fit as far as with the camera body. You know, it's only a couple inch difference as far as wideness. And so that might be uh, just right if you do like those bigger zoom lenses. If you're gonna use some of the smaller lenses like, like I use, the more compact lenses, maybe a kit lens, uh, this is gonna be plenty for you if you do have the A6000 series or some cameras similar in size. If you do have the bigger cameras, DSLRs, the uh, full frame uh, A7S, uh, C, whatever those are, uh, you'll be able to use the large pod just fine. Um, I'm not sure which lens setups those would work for you as I don't have any of those cameras, but um, you'll want the large pod for sure. Well, one other thing that's pretty popular with the Sony A6000 series is a lot of people like to use this small rig cage and it provides extra protection around the camera. It gives you some extra mounts and uh, I typically like to take that out in the backcountry with me. It does add a little bit of weight, but uh, let's just see how that fits on with the camera into the camera pod. All right, so I now have my small rig uh, set up here back on my A6600 camera body here. And uh, we're just gonna put it on in the camera bag and see how that fits. So open that up here. And uh, you can see you're getting maybe about half an inch wider in uh, both directions here. And so we put it in. And it's a tight fit, let's see. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So it's, it feels like it's just about super tight right here. And to push it down any further, I won't be able to get it over. You can see this little uh, rig setup where it, I can put another shoe mount here. And so you can just see how tight that is. It's almost going in, but this part right here, this back part is gonna block it and I can't reach it over that. And as a result, I'm not gonna be able to uh, close this. So I am a little bummed about this. If it was slightly, maybe half an inch, quarter of an inch even, this would fit no problem. And I kind of wish it was the case because I really wanted the small rig to uh, stay on this setup. So unfortunately, if you have the A6600 and the small rig setup with the regular pod, you're not gonna be able to fit it in the Hyperlite camera pod. Um, if you did want to go with the this, you might want to check out the large size rather than the regular, and that might fit. It also might be a little bit too big, but just something to keep in mind. All right, so concluding thoughts. What do I think of this? Overall, you know, I think the pros really outweigh the cons when it comes to this camera pod for the A6000 series cameras and the regular size here. Um, overall, it, it's a really good pack. I was real excited for this to come out. It's lightweight 
It's also a rugged material, so it's not gonna rip or tear very easily. It's water resistant to an extent with that Dyneema, and you also have the water uh, kind of sealed zippers here. And so that's a, a really cool thing. Um, this is also a good pack because of the padding here. It's not overdone to where it's gonna be bulky and heavy. It's just sufficient padding to protect your camera, to make it nice and maybe comfortable, give you the extra assurance of having a, a case for your camera without weighing you down. Another pro is how versatile this is. You can mount it on various locations. You have the carabiners, you have extra loops for the daisy chains. Uh, you can mount it all different ways how you would like. Um, you, my personal favorite, like I said, is on the hip and this matches just fine, especially if you have a Hyperlite bag. Uh, these are really good for that and it matches. I have the black uh, Southwest Hyperlite uh, bag and this matches really good with that. So overall, this is a good pack. Um, as long as I'm not taking it uh, with my cage or bigger lenses, uh, this will do just fine. Now let's consider some of the cons. First of all, for a camera bag that's relatively lightweight, um, they are a little bit expensive. The regular size being about, what, 102 or something like that, and then the uh, large size being about 129. So they are a little bit pricey. There are some other options that are similar, but they're not as uh, form-fitting or as light as these so uh, just something to take in consideration you do get what you pay for just be uh, mindful of that and hyperlite is really good high quality but they are a bit on the expensive side another con about these is you're going to be limited on the kinds of lenses you can use you're not going to be able to use like this bigger tamaron 17 by 70 uh, with your aps-c camera in the regular setup you're going to need to upgrade to uh, maybe the large pack if you do want to carry something like this. It's just not going to fit. It's meant for more compact uh, setups like that. Uh, more uh, lenses that are uh, slightly shorter like the Sony uh, 10 by 18 here. Uh, this one I just felt fit perfect with this bag and everything. Uh, the limits were right about that Sigma 16 millimeters as far as the length there. Um, but as far as that, you are gonna be limited on the lenses that you can use with this. So just make sure your lens fits. And if you need something bigger, go with the large bag. Now, the biggest con for me personally, now this may not be for you if you don't have it, but for me personally was I wasn't able to use my small rig. This just gives me an extra protection uh, for my camera, especially if I nick it, if I drop it, if something happens, I have this small rig uh, metal frame that protects it. It gives me extra mounts as well. And it's something that I really, wanted to always just leave on my camera. But if I do choose to use this bag in particular, I will have to take off the cage because it doesn't fit. And so I was a little bit bummed about this. If we just had maybe half an inch wider of a bag here, this would just fit perfectly and it'd be a, a home run in my uh, opinion. And so that's my only uh, major con about this that made me maybe question whether I should go to the large or just stick with this and go without the cage. So I might choose, uh, check out the large just to see how it fits and everything. Uh, but for now, I think uh, I'm going to have to go without the cage. All right. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the camera pod from Hyperlite Mountain Gear. They make quality gears and uh, this is no exception. It is quality while also being minimalistic and doing really everything that I needed it to. It fits my camera pretty nicely. I did wish it had, it was a little bit wider to fit my small rig setup, but you can't always get everything you ask for. I am pretty happy with it. Uh, what did you think of the Hyperlite camera pod? Is this something that you're going to get for your setup? What kind of camera do you have? And would you use something like this? Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts and if this is something you're gonna add. If you like what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe for more uh, gear review content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.